So what we have here is we've got the uh, RS232 uh, connection, uh, female, DB9, uh, wired up and uh, that's going to go onto the board as such. There we go. I've got the stepper motor, the NEMA 17 stepper motor wired up for testing. I've got the resettable fuse, I wired it to a 2P header. It doesn't matter which way round it goes. So this is the resettable fuse, goes in there. Like that. And it's okay just to sit there. I've got the LCD display. Um, I'm using a 2004. Uh, 20 characters uh, per line by four lines. This is a brightness control, just a 10k knob wide across the end. And I've got a 4p uh, header cable straight through. Uh, this uh, ground is brown, so let's find uh, ground on here. And there we go, so that's all wide. I've got the temperature probe. Um, this is the DB18, uh, uh, sorry, DS18B20. Um, so this will go go on the telescope tube. This is the three-pin header, tip, ring in the middle, sleeve. So the wiring was yellow, red, black, and that will plug into the uh, 3P jack on the focuser like that. And so now we've got everything connected. Everything's there. Oh, let me just connect. Well, we, we won't connect up the stepper motor just yet because um, I haven't got the DRV8825 chip yet. Um, but it's good enough to start testing. So what we'll do is we'll start testing the LEDs and the buzzer and then progress to the switches, or the push-button switches and the LCD and so on, the temperature probe, and we'll do that now. Uh, red's actually positive, goes to the center pin here, and black's negative and or ground and it goes to the outside. So what I'll do is I'll make sure that plus lines up with red. And there it is. And sitting here I've got some 12 volts from my uh, power supply. So if I connect this up I would expect the Arduino to light up. So there we go. So the, Arduino, the red light on the Arduino is actually uh, lit up. As you can see, so there's power to the board that tests to make sure that the LM7808 regulator is actually providing 5 volts to the board, which it is. So, so far it's looking pretty good. Okay, so what I've done is the power on reset switch, I've ensured it's in the off position, um, open, uh, otherwise I won't be able to upload any stuff. I've got a USB cable connected, and so what we'll do is we'll connect this up now, and plug it into the computer, so that will ensure that we can program. I've downloaded all the um, test programs uh, from the website so we've got power to the board um, it's lit up and what I need to do now is I'll go and um, I'm loading up LED and buzzer test.ino I'm ensuring that the board under tools board Arduino Nano it's set to Nano and the port so device manager tells me it's port 3 COM 3 so we'll do that and what we want to be able to do as we want to be able to compile this and send it to the board so I'm doing that now and you should see some lights start to flash here um, as it's uploading it's done the uploading now the I just heard the buzzer go you can see the red and the green lights on all right the blue's gone off green's gone off if I wanted to see the output of the program I would have to open up the serial port monitor in the Arduino IDE says blue LED light on, green LED on, buzzer on, buzzer off, 
blue is on, green is off, buzzer on. So the buzzer and the light, the LED lights are flashing, so that indicates that first test is fine. I've now programmed uh, the controller with push button test and I'm looking at the um, uh, serial monitor output on the IDE if I press one button it should this is saying button 2 is pressed when I let it go nothing happens when I press the other button it says button 1 is pressed and if I hold down both it says button 1 and button 2 is pressed so I know that that's working you can you can see the serial comms light flash so it's not yeah um and so that's that's working fine so the buttons have passed the test all completely unrehearsed first time So I'm using the program called DS18B20 probe underscore test. The line which read hash include um, left angle bracket Dallas temperature dot H. I've changed to my Dallas temperature dot H. I've compiled that, uploaded it to the board. I open up the serial monitor set to 9600 board. It tells me it's 24 degrees. Um, this is the actual probe. Let's grab hold of the uh, end. It's now telling me 24.5, 25 25.5, uh, 26.75, uh, 27.813, 29. So we know that that's working. So that's uh, that's the temperature probe. This is the um, LCD board and I've got a straight pin, uh, four pin cable um, ground on that side, SCL on this side, so black, white, brown, red, black, white, brown, red, and this is going to plug into the board, so I know that black is ground, so I look for the ground and I just push that in there. And that's fine. So we have the uh, LCD connected. I've got a little um, contrast light here. Uh, it's just a 10k resistor across the back end here. All right, so it's all connected, and I want to test the um, LCD. So I'm loading up the program called LCD I2C underscore test. Now I know that this. Um, LCD unit uh, has an address of 0x3f and not 27 as in the um, test program. So I've changed that and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the test program uh, to, the, to this controller um, and what that should do is if everything's working okay um, the LCD uh, should display the various test messages. So there we go, we get hello, we get a series of digits and characters, etc., and it starts to scroll. I can adjust the brightness and uh, contra and the brightness. Um, so that indicates the LCD is working fine. Time for the big test. Um, I've loaded up my fo uh, sorry. I've loaded up the Focuser version two six three underscore DRV eight eight two five underscore 
hardware 203 into the Arduino IDE. I've ensured that temperature probe is defined, uh, push buttons is defined, LCD displays defined, backlash is defined, buzzers defined, in out LEDs is defined. And so now what I'll do is I'll just send this uh, straight to the controller. And so it's compiling that. It's uploading that. You can see that the uh, serial comms light has come on. And away it will go. And we would expect that this LCD screen is going to change um, once this is completed. I've heard the buzzer go. The lights came on. It's finished uploading. And the reason why the LCD display didn't come on is because it thinks that the address is 27 and not 3F. So what I need to do is go into the code and actually change this for the display. So I'm going to do that and I'm also going to change the LCD display type to 2004. So I'm doing that now from 1602. So the address is 3F. So let me just type that in, 3F, and let me just send that back to the controller. So I had expected the uh, copyright message and stuff to come up as part of the boot sequence. The boot sequence was working because I heard the buzzer and the lights come on, but the LCD display didn't change. So there we go, DRV8825, C's 5000, T's uh, 5000, temperature, max depths. It's all going on the actual controller itself. Let's try and bring it up here so you can have a look. So there we go. You can see, I apologize, everything's upside down. But you can see that it's actually working.